everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with another Carving for Carve December. Uh, I kind of dropped the ball with being consistent every day because of my computer issues, but it's a little quiet except for a dog whining in the background. Um, so that I could, I, I wanted to carve today because I'm so far behind. So here is my, my um, base idea. This came from using a circle template and an oval template where I just overlaid one on top of the other. Started out with a circle, which was, I don't know, one of these and I lined it up and then I laid um, an oval on top of it, so on and so forth. So I want to do more intricate things on here, but first I want to carve this. So I will fast forward you through all of this. I don't want to stop at just this paper design, so I'm going to stamp this and see what kind of adjustments need to be made, and I want to see what it's like as a repeating pattern. That's been my theme all along, is to do repeating patterns. So I'm going to stamp this and see how we're doing with the repeating pattern, what it would look like. I might not have done my carving deep enough, so these may be very faint lines on the paper. I'm not really sure. Let me take my mouse pad and put this under here so I can see if I get better results if I do it that way. I was watching a video just now and the lady said that she used um, Safety Cut, Nazco Safety Cut, K-U-T which I have never used before. Oops, there's a little booger in the middle. Um, which I've never used before. So I'm thinking that next year I might um, like to carve with something different. And see how well it does. She talked about Dick Blick having good carving um, rubber or whatever the surface is. I'm not sure. So that might be a place where I have to get some stuff too. All right, so I like the repeating pattern, but it needs some more oomph. And I see that I need to connect my lines a little bit better in the inter square. So I'm going to connect some lines here so that it looks nicer. I didn't quite hit the mark in a couple places. And then this line needs to be darker here. It needs to be dug in a little bit more. This one doesn't connect and I want it to connect. All right, so now what I have to decide is, do I want to create some kind of another geometric um, piece here on the corner so that when I stamp them they will meet 
and make yet another design in the empty space. So I'm looking at it and I think I want to, but I just don't know what to do. I would like to do something in this corner thing here. Maybe what I'd like to do is carve out these end pieces and the center and then do something. Yeah, that's, I think maybe that's what I want to do. So I'm going to carve out the center. And that way, when I stamp it, it'll be a blank space so that if I want to do another little piece in the center, I can carve not a diamond and not quite a square, a piece for the middle to insert here as a second stamp for this part. I did do some stamping the other day where I stamped whole sheets of the stuff that I had already um, carved in this series. And I took a stamp that I had made I don't know, a couple years ago and I used that as the center stamp in a circle. Well, I'll show you in just a second. Let me finish this while I'm on a roll. Um, I'm I have a new printer, so I'm trying to figure out how to scan the stuff I've already stamped. It's not going very well, but at least I did get it set up with the Wi-Fi. We'll see how much longer that lasts. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. I let the dogs out, so hopefully I'll get a second to do this without them barking in the background. <laughs> All right, so. I took the stamps that I made this last time and I stamped them in colors and I did the large versus small but I think I should have turned it around a different direction but for the most part I'm really pleased with the way the print turned out. This is another one. I think this one needs some work. Um, I don't know. I think it, it just needs maybe some fine lines in here so a little bit more. Not sure. This one's okay. I did scratch in a couple of these places to give it a little more character, but I think my white lines are a little too thick. And the camera looks much better than in person. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way this one turned out. And then this one is another one that I carved, but I took, let me see if I can find it over here in the corner. Where is it? Rats? Nope, this isn't the one. Well, son of a gun. I had a round stamp that, um, no, I can't find it. I took a round stamp that I carved a couple of years ago and stamped it in a different color in the empty space that the two pieces put together create a, a big empty circle. Then I took another stamp and that's what I was thinking about in some of these that had the circles to take another stamp to emphasize the circle which I left open on purpose so I could do that. Um, this one I, I don't think I can do anything to it. This one needs a little more fine line work. This one I don't think I can do the circles, but I might be able to do this diamond shape right here. I do have another diamond shape uh, stamp. It might be too long. I don't know. I have to I have to get it out and take a look at it. But that was my reasoning for leaving some of this stuff cut out so much is because I want to insert stamps from the past in them. I hate not using all the stamps that I've carved. And I've got an Ikea large drawer, the wide drawer Ikea cabinet full of nothing but stamps I've carved over the last four years. So that's my um, carving for now. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward through cutting out the, the pieces and then we'll come back and take a look.
Okay, so I'm going to stamp it again and see what it looks like. I did leave some uneven um, lines in here because I, I kind of like the way it looks sometimes. Where it looks like you didn't carve it out properly. I do like those little lines in there. Let's see, let's do it this way. I am going to mark it which way is which before it's over, but for now I just want to see how it looks. I kind of like this so that when you do it on the jelly plate you're going to have color. And I like that idea of having color inserted. So this is good so far. But it needs more. And I'm not sure if I need to cut this print out, cut it away from the rubber around this, or add more to it. Like, you know, in these empty spaces here. I just, I'm not sure. But I do like the way it looks. Let's see, what else can I do to it? I could put straight lines. I could add a little a little more to it, but I'm thinking that what I like to do is add some pencil marks here if I can find a pencil. You know, that's the worst thing, never finding a pencil. On a desk full of tools. I think I might like to do something here. Oh, you can barely see that. Hang on a second. Go from the corners here to the corner of the stamp. So that it, when you stamp it side by side, these lines will match. Well, that's the theory. <laughs> that is the theory. I work on a lot of theories. <laughs> Technically... Theoretically, it's supposed to. <laughs> okay, let's see here. To the edge. All right, so I could do that, which means it will create another space there. Um... Let me erase this because I don't want to see that line there. I want to see what it looks like without the line. I've already carved this out. So let me color these in so I know what's already been carved out. And if I ever do this again, the same stamp again, add or take away to it, I'll already have this in the book. I'll know where to start. This is just a number two pencil. I do like the graphites better. I think they work much nicer. All right, so this is all colored in here. I'm not going to take the time to really do that dark. All right, there's that. So I think I need the lines that go this way. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Now, you're not. I don't think you're going to be able to see this on here because it's graphite pencil on black stays on. I'll be able to see it, but I don't, well, let me just carve it. Where's the little bitty one? That's this one. So I'll just go along this ruler and carve to the edge. Well, theoretically. <laughs> There's that word. <laughs> theoretically. Theoretically. And there's the edge to that one. Let's carve along the straight edge, off the edge. And I would like for it to go right to the very edge. Wow, I didn't realize it would go so well using the ruler like this. I should probably try this technique more often. I would get nicer, straighter edges. Now, I don't know if these are spaced out to really make a pattern, but we're going to try. You know, you learn from your failures, you make adjustments, you move on to the next new mistake, you make more adjustments, eventually you get there. The only reason you don't get there is because you quit. And I am not a quitter. Well, not about this. 
Okay, we think. All right, let's stamp. The, the important part for me is stamping all along the way for something like this so I can see if I want to do more to it. All right, so I have to stamp this next to itself so I can see what the open space is. Because I want to see if it's going to connect. Oh, see, I should have done the mouse pad. All right, I see I need to make a little adjustment in one of the lines that doesn't go quite to the edge well. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. If this had printed darker, you could see that this goes down here and they kind of meet and it will continue to go on and on. Let me stamp half of this to finish out the edge. And I'll need to mark a right and a left. Oh, that was really dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one did much better. So you get the you get the drift of it. So let me take this is the little one. Yes, this is the little one. And I want to straighten this out just a wee tad. So it goes to the very end of the stamp. This one doesn't go all the way to the very end. Like that's why I stab my finger is because I'm trying to get it to go to the very end. I'm gonna leave this wonky looking in the middle. I get, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. All right, so let me just trim this. I want this to look more even on the edge here. The only way I'm going to do that is just to slightly alter it. Eh, I guess that's good enough. It's not straight, but it'll do. Okay, so there's this. Now, do I want to do anything in here, along here, to add another pattern so that it repeats to there? We'll see. Okay, so I've been thinking about this. The only way that I think I'm going to know if I want to carve more on this is to do a jelly print to see what it looks like with color. That way I will know for sure if I want to make any adjustments to the print is by looking at it with color. I mean, I like the black and white idea of stamping, but for me it's about the color for these, for the patterns, for backgrounds pages, for journals, whatever. So I'm going to do this on a jelly plate and I will fast forward you through the printing. I spent an hour cleaning my brayer off the other day and I thought it was clean when I used it on the roll-off paper till I peeled off layers of paint by soaking it. And then I took, I, I soaked the whole, I mean I took it apart. You can pull these apart. And then I um, I took it and I soaked it in Murphy's oil soap and then I took a credit card and a toothbrush and dug all the layers of paint off of here and this pretty clean. I'm so proud of myself except for now, you know, it's about to all be over. <laughs> all right, so I have my roll up paper and I have papers that were left over from another printing I'm going to start with. So I think what I will do is start with a yellow.
Okay, so I got varied results with the exact same stamp and the same stamping. Where this one, it's got the purple inside and this one it's more white. I think it has to do with the varying degrees of how I press down on the stamp and how thick the layer of paint is on the jelly plate. Uh, I don't know if I like it or not. I'm conflicted because these look pretty good this way. I'm not sure I like this. So I'm going to fiddle around with it more and then I'll be back. Okay, while the camera was not on, I played around with different stamps to insert in the middle. The first one I started with was this shape that I thought was more a 90 degree angle, which it is not because, well, maybe it is, but my inside is not. So that's this one turned this way and then turned this way. I did it twice thinking, well, maybe I misunderstood my own stuff. Uh, no, it's not square. All right, so then I tried this one, which is a little bitty one, where I went one direction, one direction, one, one, and did it twice. It's okay, but not what I'm looking for. I tried a leaf, which was too large for the space. I did it here and here. Didn't like it. The last one I really love. I like this one right here. Let's see, this one. And did it inside there. Now it does overlap a bit, but I'm not worried about that. So then, while I was waiting for my stuff to transfer from one place to another, I stamped this in, what is this? This is called Cactus Green by Stays On. Then I did, I had cleaned off the stamp with this stuff called Grandma's Secret Rubber Stamp Cleaner that's probably a hundred years old, but I tried it. I also washed the uh, paint off of this using uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid and giving it a good scrub so the acrylic paint was not on here while I was trying to stamp with uh, stamp heads. Um, and so I got, it was a little dirty still on the edges, but it worked its way out. And then I took the, let's see, Pear Tart Memento and did it in the middles. And I really like the way that looks. Although I would like something a little smaller, but I'm okay with this that it overlaps. It's really not that big of a deal. I kind of like it. Okay, so that is now, let's see, I don't even know what day this is. I'm probably on day 12, so I am really behind, and I doubt seriously that I will film the others. I will just show you at the end what they look like because I don't have enough time. <laughs> I'm too far behind. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.